Hello everyone and welcome back to I the Somnium Files. In the last session, we finished Ota's route. We went through his mother's Somnium and uh, saw her dealing with her dementia and everything, which was very sad to see. And uh, some, some pretty interesting reveals were had. And then, yes, the route ended. And so we went back to Ota's, uh, Ota's dream of fighting the polar bear. Went the other way from there. Ended up staying too long in his Somnium. And then collapsed when we came out and are now back home. So, let's see where things go from here. Don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? I'm taking the day off for morning. I see. Yeah, that is kind of like <laughs> my dude. She's literally just found both of her parents murdered. <laughs> like, you gotta like imagine expecting her to go back to school in the next month. Like, are you insane? Like, that's just you, you're not gonna be able to process that shit in any fast amount of time as a kid. You know, like even as an adult, if both your parents get fucking murdered, that's like gonna gonna ruin you for a bit, but like, as a kid, that's just, I can't even imagine. Where's Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Yeah, I feel like that's fair. <laughs> Did Boss and Pewter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. <laughs> you should probably prepare for a funeral soon. Oh, I really like Mizuki. <laughs> so they told you I'm completely fine. Huh? <laughs> hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. I think I think Iris is my favorite. Uh, and then Mizuki is probably second favorite. And then I do like Iba quite a lot. Uh, then probably boss next, and then like all the way down at the bottom, at the very bottom, Ota and Date. <laughs> Ota for being such an annoying little shit, and Date for his constant fucking cringe-worthy, like weird, creepy sexual jokes. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Time to get back to the investigation. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss right. said you need to yes. find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Date, please. Cut her a break, man. Mizuki. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. Crazy concept, I know. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Moi. Tell Mizuki that you'll take her with you. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Sweet. I really didn't think he would. Thank you. But it would be nice to have, a lo her, have her along for the ride. Thank you, Date. For a while, at least, until we end this, uh, until we end this timeline. I got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. 
or ask around the city for further information. Hey, right. she looks like she just washed her face. She's ready. Nice. Oh fuck! <laughs> that is, that is a lot of places. Oh boy. Well, huh? What happened to this shrine? Or is this just part of asking around the city, I guess? I assume we'll have to go to all of them. Wow, that is this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, back to Ye Olden Park. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Yep. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot. But sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. Aww. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me so I wouldn't fall. Hmm. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Damn. Uh, did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun it felt wrong like it was too good to be true that is a sad childhood man imagine like feeling that having fun is bad because you've had so little of it in your life jesus have you come here before with friends other than last friday nope i haven't this place has been off limits for almost a decade even if it wasn't i don't think i would want to come back here well not now but, like, before? Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. Fair enough. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. Yeah, I can get that. Sometimes with, like, shows or films or something that I watched as a kid that I'm pretty sure are not going to hold up now, but I remember really liking them when I was a kid, I don't rewatch because if I do rewatch. And I'm right that they probably don't hold up now. Then that's going to replace my happy memories of watching these things or whatever. With, oh, okay, it wasn't actually that good. And I'd rather just have the memory of them being good, you know. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mizuki's riding the merry-go-round horse. Say nothing. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Yeah, let's not tell her that when her fucking parents are dead, mate. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay? This is what I think. A family is... A perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. 
I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. How are you figuring that? What are you saying? I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. Jesus, man! And why mom and daddy didn't get along. They hadn't mentioned that before, right? Like, I got that it wasn't a particularly happy family. I had not realized that her mom was literally hitting her kid. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. Well, fuck Shoko. Glad she's dead. Imagine going around hitting children. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. This... All of this. So, oh, fuck. All of this is my fault. Sorry, I, I heard the pause and I thought it was the end of the sentence, but no. Why me? Huh. Is this the first time we've heard her talk? I can't, I don't think we've heard her talk before. Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? <laughs> I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal. Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. That is pretty normal for babies, my dude. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. What a fucking terrible mother. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yeah, kids don't like doing that shit. <laughs> Yet why is my little girl? She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. What a bitch. Wow. Uh, I'll take a drink. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. What do you think? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. There, I scolded her. <laughs> Polishing the bonito as usual. Uh, where is Mizuki now? Sleeping at home. Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Not knowing her mother's a fucking bitch. Uh, listen to the rest of the story, sure. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. Sounds like a choice you made. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. That is literally every parent. <laughs> like, it's a huge commitment having a kid. That is a choice you make. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. Fuck me. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I did it anyway. But I have a good reason. No, you don't. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? There are plenty of ways you can discipline a kid that doesn't involve fucking hitting him. What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. Wow. Date, is this the first time I'm, I'm starting to like you now? So of course she starts crying. My dude's actually forcefully saying, like, no, you fucking idiot. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. Jesus! And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. I hate Shogo. 
After after literally listening to her for a minute or two, or however long this conversation has been going on, I hate her more than any other character in this game. <laughs> like, Ota's annoying. Ota's, like, my least favorite just because he's fucking irritating. But she's actually, like, horrible. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Well, I'm very glad that M Mizuki came to live with us to get her out of that abusive environment. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. I mean... You still make the effort. <laughs> like, surely as an adult she can acknowledge that she had a shit childhood and do better for her own kid, you know? Uh, did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. Uh, what do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. What time do you close? When you two are done talking. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. That's a pretty cool bartender. Uh, I do feel bad. No, I don't. I feel zero sympathy towards Shoko. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? What do you mean if you could have put a stop? You can definitely put a stop to your wife hitting your kid. You can physically intervene between them. Or... I guess doing what he does, we, what, he, what we know he does, which is remove the child from the situation by getting me to take care of her. I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. <laughs> I want to bet. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. So, she's a kid, then. Yeah. Wow. Shocking! She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Can you step in and take over the parenting? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Then why did you have a kid? Or why did you start a company when you have a kid? Or we I don't know which way round it happened. I don't know whether he already had the company going or whatever, but either way... If you have a kid, you gotta make them your priority. Ah! Like, I'm not a parent, but I feel like this shit isn't, like, complicated. If you choose to have a kid, then you prioritize your kid. If you don't think you can do that, don't have a kid. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. 
You two are both awful parents. Man, <laughs> Date, rising up my list of characters. He hasn't actually made a fucking terrible comment in the last <laughs> however long. It's been a little bit, and he's actually pushing back on this, so I appreciate him. Hopefully he doesn't immediately ruin it, but I'm suddenly actually digging. I knew about the whole thing. Digging Date a bit. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. And that is actually very generous that he did, like, offer that. Because, like, <laughs> he's not related to them. He didn't have to do that. He could have just been like, not my problem. But, but he did. So, yeah. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> He's actually handling this bit kind of well. But give her a hug, man, please. Don't let her just fucking stand there crying. Oh, man. Alright, uh, let's check out this shrine then. Kume Shrine. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. And don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. He's a poet and he didn't even know it. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. What? <laughs> You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Yeah, that is kind of a weird take. Uh, rope hanging Mr. from Bell? the bell. Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. What? Uh, guardian dog Why statue? Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, uh, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who asked. The ah uh and um guardian dogs. A Shinto shrine looks rather solemn. Lantern. Sacred straw rope. Literally, what is the point of the ones where you click it? It's like a sacred straw rope, and then you click it, and it comes up a sacred straw rope. Like, and then tree, and you click it, and it goes a tree. Like, why, why even put that in the game? <laughs> like, just, just. Don't have the tree clickable, and just only have the things clickable that actually have some commentary to them. Like, what is the pur what is the purpose of that? Like, gee, I can't believe this tree is a tree. Chizuya, like that's not helpful. What's a chizuya? You wash your hands and her face here. Well, there we go. That's helpful. I've never heard of the word chizuya before, but just like a tree, it's a tree. Shrine, it's a shrine. Offering box. Whoops, that's the bell again. Offering box. The offering hey, box. Mizuki, hey! Do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Actual commentary. Hey, Date! Are you really a cop? A stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. What does it say? When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. That's what it says. <laughs> that is definitely a lie. 
Alright, about your training. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah, it's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me! Begin! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! She's sick! Well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for it! Uh, wait for me! That was dope. About the bullies. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... Killed them all! I broke all their front teeth. Nice! Jeez. Atta girl. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Oh, oh damn, dude. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? <laughs> because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. Lol. Got him. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway. Where to next? What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, back to the cold storage warehouse. You're more crooked than a hernia. <laughs> this is where Iris and Oto almost got killed, right? <laughs> and in another timeline, did. It gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Few items on the shelf. Uh, any leads? No, not so far. We see each other a lot. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. What is your name? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? Oh, sorry, my fault. Must be mistaken. No. No! You're exactly right! Pog? Wow. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. Date, this guy is kind of weird. Little bit. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. 
Huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. If you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey. Uh, do you like your line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. Sure. You're a great guy. You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. Who told you that? I'll show them trouble. Yeesh. You must be exhausted. This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you for caring. It means a lot. What's your name? Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Date, sir. Hmm? What is it? This is how it's supposed to be. A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. But we're co-workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. All right, if you say so. Uh, okay. A cop. He looks so cold he might piss his pants. Sure. Do, do, do. Uh, not much to find, really. Evidence marker. Okay, let's just talk to Mizuki then. Uh, have you been here before? Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. Why would I lie about that? Anything on your mind? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, Blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... Are you cold? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Huh. Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. About the blood. Somewhere in the frozen warehouse is the polar bear's blood. Well, to be precise, the blood of the person in the polar bear costume. Just like right there. Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The bloodstain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other... Hey. Do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. 
Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. Cool, cool. I wonder if it will come back as someone we already know. I'm very curious. I feel like we probably know who it is, right? There's a bunch of characters. I feel like it would be weird if the killer is someone just like out of left field. So I feel like it like if it's just like, yeah, it's this person we've never heard of before. So it presumably is someone we know, so yeah, maybe maybe the blood type will maybe the blood will already be on record or something. I don't know. Let us head to Lemnisgate. Lemnisgate. 